Hello, so this is the first video that I have ever made on a tutorial, so bear with me because I'm having issues. I am going to make a tutorial on how we built our hoop house. I posted it on Facebook and had quite a few people asking for a tutorial on how we built it and the tools that we used. So I will go into detail on each thing. I have a certain areas that I'm going to go over. I will link in the description what each item was that we used and I will also link the times on certain areas. So starting out, we wanted to do a greenhouse, but we didn't know about how to build it. So we started obviously looking on the internet and we found the kits first. So I will show a picture of like a typical garden greenhouse kit and those range from like $1,000 to $3,000. So it was obviously too expensive. So then we went on to PVC piping and using that as a hoop style uh, greenhouse. But with the prices going up on PVC, my husband said no to that as well. So I also heard that it doesn't last as long. So that was another drawback on a reason that we didn't want to do it. Well then, we looked at wood and that was out of the picture because the price is on wood. So we ended up looking up and I found a cow panel one and my husband was like, oh, that's really awesome. So we didn't really know how to go about doing it because there wasn't a lot of videos on it. There was some here and there, but nothing exactly what we were wanting. So we kind of winged it. There were some videos here and there that helped a lot, but for the most part we just had to go with the flow and my husband's got an imagination so he just kind of made do with what he could. So we got the tools that we needed, so the list of tools and items that we used would be wood for the framing, cement, we used 10, ba 10 pound bags of cement to frame so that the frame wouldn't get pulled out of the ground or move or sink or anything like that. Then we got cattle panel, cap nails, they have the little plastic pieces on the end of them so that they can't be ripped through. We used um, construction plastic, like the sheeting that um, marks off areas so that dust doesn't get everywhere. We used six mil sheeting, that's the thickness, and then pipe wrap. Now the pipe wrap that we got, and I don't know if like all pipe wrap is like this, but it looks like um, like pool noodles, but the ones that we got were smaller and they were cut down the middle and had these pieces on the end and it was like adhesion, adhesion, adhesive and you pull it and it takes the adhesive and sticks it together. So my husband didn't trust that that adhesive would work completely so we ended up zip tying so we did use zip ties as well and then we had two doors that were given to us the screen doors that we are using and then inch and a half or one and a half let me see here an inch and a half galvanized fence staples is what we used to connect the cow panel to our frame. Now, <clears throat> okay, so the prices of everything all together, it pretty much came to $400. We didn't have to spend any money on any wood because we had some past 
things that we used it and so we just had leftover wood that we didn't have to buy. So take into that fact because a lot of wood has went up in pricing. I don't know if it's in every area or if it's just in our area, but wood is expensive as I'll get out here. So we didn't have to buy wood or doors and then I'll just go through the list of everything that we used and give prices on each thing. So, <clears throat> cattle panel was 16 foot by 50 inches and it was $30 a piece. We had five of those and it came to $130 in total for the cattle panel. Then we used the plastic construction sheeting and that was $140 but we only used for the entire thing about 30% of the roll. So we can use if when it tears or whatever happens to it we can just always reuse probably two more times of that container of plastic. Then we had the pipe wrap, which is on the edges to protect the plastic from tearing because of the ends of the cattle panel. And that's very important because if not, that will tear within days. It was $3 and in total, it was $15 for all of them. And then we had two bags of 80 pound concrete, which came to $10. All right, and then the last part will explain exactly step by step what my husband did to build each area. So he took a four by four, four foot long, and had six of those. And that, those are the ones that he dug into the ground and concreted. So he did that so he had six total. Let that set for a day. Then once that had hardened up, he took ten two by four by tens and made a square with that. He used treated wood for all of the wood that he used. And then Past that, the whole frame was made. So then came the part of the cattle panel. And it sounds complicated, but it's really not. So he put all the cattle panel lining on that frame, pulled it to the end, and where he stapled the ends in matched up. So he went ahead and stapled that whole side, and then he goes to the other side, lifts it, so it's in formation and then staples down the other side. So it's very simple. It sounds complicated, but it was very simple. I had a lot of people asking me about that. Then once he stapled it, he zip tied all of the cattle panel, each row together. And when he did that, you wanna make sure that the zip ties aren't sticking outward. He cut them, so then you roll it and you make sure that the cut part is sticking down or else it will pop the plastic as well. And then once he got that zip tied, he framed the doors and the windows or whatever you want framed. So he did a door, it was 36 by 80. I'm just pulling a number because that's the number that he told me. So that was the, the frame of the door. And then let's see, he took four T posts on each corner of the door and framed that down so that it's not one loose piece. So he stuck it into the ground with the T posts that are connected to it, which made it one solid frame. Because if you don't, the door kind of sways and it's not sturdy. And then past that point, him and I worked on covering it with the plastic. And we picked probably the worst day possible. It was like 40 degrees. It was 25 mile an hour winds, which that's pretty much average wind for us. Some places get a lot more than that, but that's not average wind. But it wasn't like it was, there was no wind, nothing. So we didn't pick a very great time to do it. But what we did was we laid out the plastic. So it was flat on the ground. And then we put down weights on the end of it on the further side from the greenhouse, which keeps it from flying away. So then he took the area closest to the greenhouse and stapled that down. Now, once he got that stapled down, we were able to roll it all the way up to the fence. And once we got it rolled, we were able to unroll it as we're going through it and the wind kind of helped us so we were able to literally just pull it right over and it went really smooth it was probably the smoothest thing that we 
then put on it. <laughs> so once he got that side stapled in, I held on to it while he started stapling the other side of it. So he did a, about a staple a foot long on each area. So then past that, we have the sides done. So then he went to the front side and the front side went a lot better than the back side. But you start from the top and you pull out, make sure there's no tension anywhere. If there is bubbles in it, cut the area and then you can fix it frame-wise later. So you can literally cut, if you have a triangle shaped piece of wood, you can cut out and then staple that in. The past him getting the sides framed, I just cut off the plastic that was excess on it. And then he realized that one of the doors was crooked. So when you open it, it wouldn't match with the top of it. And I had someone ask me about this as well. And they were kind of irritated by it. So I will explain and show you as I'm explaining it, what we used in what area to fix it. So he unscrewed part of the frame and some people may know this and may, may think it's silly to even explain it, but some people don't know. So he unscrewed sides of the frames of the door that are connecting it. And then you shove to one side, check the door, see if it works. If it does, then you screw that down. If it's worse, try the other way. So then you screw down whatever side works best. And then that should help equal and make it more uh, flat. Besides that, um, I had some people asking me um, if we were going to put anything down it to make it more secure. And I don't think we are because we don't have a truck or anything big that can haul a 20 foot long piece of wood. And we will just pay attention through the winter. If we get a lot of snow, I'll make sure that I go out and get the snow off of it so it doesn't cave in. Because there's questions about caving in. And then another question that I had was about vents. Um, I've, we have the two screen doors and I don't think with the two screen doors that that will be enough to keep it cool in there. So eventually once it starts getting warmer, I'm going to ask my husband if he can put in some sort of ventilation up top because I know it's going to get hot. And some people told me about that as well. So, and then we are completely finished actually. We're going to put pallets along the lower side of it. And I took a blowtorch and um, made it, made the wood look cool. So he's got to finish that yet. And then he's got to build the shelves. And for the 20 foot long by 10 foot wide area, I used 32 bags of mulch on the inside. And then we took, before I put the mulch down, we um, put the black grass killer that came in like long pieces. I don't know what it's called. Um, and then stapled that to the exterior sides of it and then put the mulch down. So that mulch won't, or grass won't be popping through. Besides that, I'm not sure any other questions or concerns. I'll have to look up and see if there's any other questions on it. But that's how we built our hoop house. Thank you. Right also, I had a lot of simple questions on a whole bunch of different areas. So if some people think that this is very self-explanatory, other people have asked me these questions. So I want to make sure that everyone knows exactly how about to go on doing this so if you have any questions always comment and i will try to explain as much as possible